Okay, uh, just checking. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be an overview that we did last time, a uh, bit of an introduction about NURBS curves and surfaces. So let's open Maya. So just to start and explain the difference, uh, it will open our main field. I will create now uh, NURBS primitive sp uh, sphere. Let's just move it a bit to the side and create a polygon primitive a sphere. The same thing, but just we already noticed they look they look the same at the output, but we notice they are built completely different. So polygons we went through. We have the components. Press F8. We got uh, faces, vertices, and edges. If we look at our NURBS surface, when we click, we have different things. We have control vertices, isoparm surface patch. NURBS, just in short, uh, won't go so much into it. NURBS in the, uh, are basically curve-based uh, and are taking the shape. They, uh, they're much more organic shape, much more smooth, uh, but we can always convert them back and, back and forth. We're not going to exactly work with NURBS, but we just want to go over a bit of their possibilities, although we will work with curves. So I will just start and show how to the tools we have to draw curves. If I will first go to, it's best to go to an orthographic view. I will go to the front and in my create I have curve tools. Now you notice there are quite a few of them. We will go in the main ones. The CV curve tool basically main difference is CV is the points we put are not exactly on the curves. They are creating some kind of with a math calculation the arches. The EP is on the curve itself. Uh, Bezier is just uh, more, uh, we will go through it. And let's start with the normal CV curve tool. I usually open the settings, as I said, to reset the tool. If you notice in this tool, we have curve degree. We can also draw completely linear sharp curves or smooth curves. So these, but we'll stay with the default options. So reset. If I press X and click on the left, I get it locked and snapping to the grid. So I put one point here. I still don't have a curve yet. I'll put another point next to it. I'm just using the grid to give me a place to snap on. And if I will go upstairs. As you see, when I have a point here, it got more curved. If I will delete this and put now, let's say another point, one, two, three, you see four, the curve gets more sharp. If I had here four, it would be a complete sharp corner. Let's take delete back. We can always delete and show this again. If I click here one, two, three, four times and then here one, two, three, four times and in this one, two, three, four. Notice how the curve looks like now. It's pretty much straight. Okay, there is a bit of a curve curvature here. Same process. Let's delete this curve and create a new one. Our curve tools, CV curve. And if I, so, the amount, how many there are on the point, do change the degree. So here I put one, two, one, two, and one, two. So I just get a bit of a rounded corner. Uh, let's just now put one in each side, just for this example. So I'm slowly creating a profile of, let's say in this case, it will be a vase. I'm always snapping, it's just more comfortable uh, on the grid to see where it's going. And let's say this is my curve. When I press enter, the curve is created. Before that, it was live. And if we look at it, it's a 2D curve. It does not render, it's just an indication. Now, what we can do with those curves are a lot of things. And the idea is to build surfaces. Uh, so if we go into our surfaces here, we will have quite a few options. Let's tear down this menu so we can see it all the time. Let's start with the simplest one, Revolve. And I'm not even checking the settings. And as you can see, I get a vase from one curve with a profile. The nice thing is that now, as I adjust this curve, if I will select it, I will press F8 to go to component mode and then pick on one of the CVs. I can live change how the curve is creating my vase or whatever shape we would like to do. So, for example, I can go with this here. I can always pick walk with the arrows and change too. So it's very handy. It's a really nice tool to work with curves. Now the shape I created is a NURBS shape. 
If you can see, it's, it's got isoforms, it's an herbs. Uh, it's much more smooth, I don't need so many divisions. I can convert this later into polygons, or I can just directly, when I create this, and now we will do the same thing, I'll delete this and take the curve that I a bit screwed up here in the shape, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, let's say if I take the same curve, up to here. so let's do this again, revolve, polygons, then more options open, quads, and the settings, the U and the VR3, those are the important ones. When I'll revolve it, you see I get a bit of a triangle. I don't have enough divisions for this. So what I need to do is here in the NURBS tessellate, in the inputs, always when we create an object in the channel, edit channel box, we have all the details of the creation. After we delete the history, we lose this. So we can still change things here, and notice if I middle mouse and add divisions, we're starting to get more of the shape. If I do the same on the side, we get more of the shape. Let's just look at it from this corner, because the other one was done. So again, but you, to see, how, in order to get it as smooth as the nerves were, I need a lot more divisions. This should be pretty much uh, cool enough to go. Now we work with the polygons the same way. So one feature we could have done is, let's now start again. We're just looking a little bit of our surface creation. And if I'll do the curve again, now let's do it with the next curve tool, with the EP curve tool, just to show the difference. If I press X again to snap it, and I'm doing the same thing as I did before, you see that my curve, okay, it got bent here, but the main difference is that now the curve has to go through the points I'm clicking. I can do this also, Wait, let's, it's, it's enough. So the main difference, if we look between the EP and the CV curve, let's again go at our curve points, the control vertices. The control vertices are outside, these are the same as the CV curve. The curve point, no, sorry, the edit point are the points, the EP, that we put. So just to understand that those points are running exactly on the curve, whereas the CVs are in between them and deciding the curvature between them. Okay, so just a sec, F8, let's go back. <coughs> now I will go to top view just to demonstrate another option with a curve. So I'll create a curve now with a Bezier curve tool, just to show it's another tool to create the same Bezier cu curve tool, just opening the setting to see it's reset, okay. When I click on the first point, I put it here, when I click on the second point and don't let go, start pulling it, I have two handles to control the curvature. And the same I would do here in this point. The moment I start curving it, it will curve now the same. And Let's say this is the, the curve I created. I could have afterwards worked on the handles to control things. As you can see, I can use the tool again and manipulate things with those handles. So I can select on this and then grab the handle and change. By pulling it out, I change. And by moving it up and down the curve direction. So it's just another same tool to create same cu curves, just a bit easier. Now if I have this curve, and we look at it now because we did it on top view, it's lying on the floor, and I will duplicate it, control D, and translate it up. If I select both curves and go in the first option, loaf, let's just make sure we are again in polygons, quads, yep, yeah, we are, and let's just increase this to 32, 32. We don't need so many, but just for the point. So as you can see, I get a wavy surface. Very handy to work from curves, we can create a lot of or more organic shapes. A good thing to do when working, because it's hard to select all the time the curves, is to use our display layers. And I can just open this object layer, create layer from selected. And I'll call this Geo. And I will put it on 
save and I can change here into reference layer so that means I cannot select it just have to remember to put it back when I want to select it this when I will usually working with this uh, in modeling we do split our curves geo or other things into our display layers just for easier work because this time now I can just click and select the curve I won't have anything bugging me I will go to the control vertices and again I have the handles because I created with the Bezier tool and I can tweak it live and see the model change so very handy very nice way to work okay next thing because this is quite quite a quick and just to try this around um, we have also another options which the planner is less uh, let's create something planner um, okay, I will do curve tools. I usually work pretty much with a CV curve tool. It's handy enough for me. Uh, let's go in the side view and I will create. Um, let's try to do some kind of human profile for the fun of it. So. Well, it's supposed to be a profile of some character. Now, one problem I have, this curve, if you see, is still open. Over here in this part. It's not a closed curve. I could snap it around and then close it. I also have in my curve tools, uh, open closed curve, and that should fix it. When we do that, we should notice what happened here. I have an overlap. I just need to take the control vertex and maybe move it down a bit so it'll be more won't create problems later so another thing i have this curve now i can also use the planner let's just make sure it's on polygons it's not and now it is and when i do a planner trim you see i have a flat face created which i can then later extrude or fill in so very nice way to work when you can always create curves in illustrator or other softwares and bring them into maya we don't have to work here just to see that there are some nice tools in Maya to create those curves. So for now we did we did a loaf with the, the revolve revolves around the axis wherever your pivot point is. So in the case of the vase, um, let's just maybe demonstrate that again. I will just create another quick curve, create curve tool CV. And I will go to the front and I will just Maybe I will create not a CV curve, I'll create a curve tools, a pencil curve tool, which just allows me to draw freely around. Now, my curve came out very, very messy and not smooth, but I can also, in my curve options, I have an option to smoothen my curve. And if I will go to this option, maybe open the settings, just again, reset always, Don't, not sure how your setup is. And I will press smooth curves. Again, I got a nice smoother representation. I will do a revolve again. And notice that now my vase became quite, let's look at it in this, quite, it's not a vase anymore, it's more like a bucket. Uh, the reason is, is because of the pivot point, where it is, where the curve is and its pivot point. Uh, let's look at our curve. I will just add this to the geo layer so I can't mess around with it. And I will select the curve somehow. Here it is. Okay. So if I select the curve, a pivot point, I mean, when I press transform, my pivot point is here. So notice if I move it, it'll become thinner. Move it out. Usually the best practice is to have the pivot point, and I can do this by pressing D, and I will move the pivot point into my curve. here okay again the curve I'll I work with the insert the same as the I'll move it into here let's just look where our point is and I'll press insert again so this time I can shrink it in a more normal way usually the point the pivot point should be snapped to the curve point that it's aligning just be easier work so the pivot is very with a revolve it's also we can select in the settings which axis to revolve on this one worked smooth on this way 
Okay, if I go into minus, I get a different shape. So it's just to go over this. Another thing with the curves. Let's just delete a bit what we got. Let's just delete all of it. I cannot delete the geos because we will just hide them. Okay, now let's look at another option. If I will create a CD curve tool, just I'm personally very used to it, and we will try to do a, use the B rail tool. So for that we need 3D curves. It basically low, uh, re, uh, creates a surface upon uh, two rail curves in one profile. So we will create our rail curves on the side view. Just kind of very rough. We have this rail curve. Now I'm looking at it from point and I will create now the profile curve which will be, and I'm snapping it so it will start in the same uh, position. That is quite important. And let's do it now on the front axis. Sorry, on the top axis. Okay. So we got these two and I will duplicate this curve, snap it, and one problem I got is that this last profile curve, which is not good, I will alter it now, I'm just going to snap this to the grid, this is why I'm using the grid, so I know they're all, and this I will just do more freely. Okay, so this will be our profile curve. Okay, we got this, and I will now go use the B rail, B rail plus one, because we only have one profile, and it should tell me here on the corner uh, select the profile curve. So we are selecting first this, and then it will ask me to select the two rail curves one, two, and I get a mesh. The surface build of it. Notice my surface is also, this is the NURB surface, I should have changed the settings but uh, on the B-Rail, but uh, if I also have this in, in the same as the normals flipped, that's why I see the two different shades, there is a way for our surfaces to um, to uh, flip them around. Reverse direction, okay that took me a while, we have it here, and I just click on reverse direction. So this will give us a B-Rail tool. Extrude, similar, I won't go through everything. Boundary might be interesting, it's exactly if we close a few. Um, let's try to just show this, create CV curve tool. We'll go to the top view again. And I will first create a complete closed shape. Now this has to, I need to cut it and open it. One nice thing with editing curves, if I go to my edit point, uh, curve point, and I will select it manually where I want to cut. So I just select points that I will want to intersect it. One, two, three, four. And I will now go to curves, detach. And I got now a few curves, one, two, three, Four. Great. If I would use the boundary, and let's just make sure that it's on, let's make sure it's on polygons, the same settings. Okay, great. And I will go with boundary. I need to select the curves first, of course. And I will go boundary. It created me the whole Uh, shape from it. Now this shape, what's nice with the boundary, of course now I did it flat as I from a top view. This can be done of course not from a top view so it can be very useful for car hoods or shapes that, that are outlined. Oh. I'll just delete here. 
and we will now curves are not just used for modeling where it's important I think quite a useful tool also for animation for uh, rigging for camera paths there's a lot of uses of curves and they're used throughout actually most of Maya's systems use curves in many cases so it's very good to get familiar with them we would just maybe use them for specific places okay so now we're going to do something with the curves more the extrude with curves which is quite nice as well to create cube like things or other options let's just see it in action uh, it will create a CV curve tool like always uh, and I will do this from the side view so I'm still using the E deleting will take my last uh, draw I got this and then I need now two curves for this if I'm going to extrude it on a curve and what I'll do is I'll create now in this case I won't use the curve tools if I go to my nerves primitives I have a few circle and a square which are already made from curves they're not nerves objects they're curves so I'll use a circle and I did because it snaps exactly to the grid point below it where the other curve is done which is important now if I will go and open our extrude tool well, and as you can see I have it uh, at profile cube and let's just select both of them and see apply and you see what I get is a whole tube around now this is NURBS therefore I had an easier time let's just do the same thing again it's a polygon make sure it's quads that's fine apply now you see I have way too little here again to get a nice shape as I did with NURBS so I will go to my NURBS test select in my inputs and I will increase this one actually didn't need to increase only the V would be better so I'm usually just dub doubling it's still not enough now we can do there are a few types of format for this and we can do that it'll be more divided this is to have it divided equally across I'll just do that for now with 124 and we can see that we're getting it quite close to how it was with the nerves let's try it doesn't change much okay so the idea that we could take two curves and just draw them along a path that we draw this could be used a lot of ways I will just add this to the geo of course so we'll be able to select it from this selection before I just showed the reference we have a few modes we have also a template and this is live normal I can select things that are in the dis display layer and if I click on template I still see them but it's a wireframe template that I cannot select I can only select the curves now again nice I can just try to adjust things if you saw before when I did the, the curves for the vase I because I just drew it from the middle I'm free I'm not aligned to any uh, side what we should actually be working especially working in perspective and not in orthographic views is to use just one arrow at a time to know exactly that we're not changing a direction it's a bit hard to see things in perspective so I can do this I can move this back to room reference now since I see all the other objects I would just hide them first could have had them on separate layers we don't really need them so we'll just hide this one and this one and just stay with the objects that we have control H to hide of course um, alt H hides everything except the object selected I just want to show the the main curve and let's put this back into reference so I can select it if I control the curve on the base the, the circle I can by this control the thickness or for example if I will go now to my top view I'll press 4 to see the wireframe and I will select now two of those CVs from this direction plus two of those from this direction and I will squeeze them in or out I'm just creating a different shape. So I could have just see this line. 
I'm giving them a more pro profile to my shape. I actually wanted to create a star. See, I have some overlapping, so we have to be careful with that. Okay, so this is the extrude tool. Of course, there are a lot more options, a lot more other ways to extrude, but we will go on that on your own. Okay, we have also, let's just go a bit over the surfaces. The boundary we showed, square doesn't ignore for now. We have a lot of ways when we start making things from patches, let's say with, bound, uh, with boundary, there are separate NURBS surfaces that are lofted together. Um, then we can start uh, using aligning and attaching. Let's just give a quick example of this. I will again hide this layer. I should have created a display layer for the curves. Let's just do that now. Create layer from selected. I will call this curves. I can actually give them s the different colors. So I will see which one is which. Now, because we hid the other objects, if we could, I, we did Control H to hide them, we can always go into our display, show all. We just have everything back that we created. I will just maybe unreference this. And move this across here. Okay. Now we will hide both layers. Also notice that when I look at this object in wireframe, they take on the colors. So I should see the curve inside. And I will change this to a uh, So the, this is just to help us visualize the parts. When we have a scene with a lot of uh, meshes, nerves, curves, and, and what have you, then it's good to uh, have an ordered way to select and view them. It can save a lot of time. Okay, so just the example of why we would need to combine surfaces. I just now deleted everything, but it's okay. Uh, if I will create, let's just create a CV curve again, and I will do it this time from the top view. Let's say I'm doing, I'm doing it very roughly, even I'm not using the okay. Again, I created the curve. I'll just do curves open close. This where is it gone at the moment? Let's smooth it as well, that would be useful. And curves open close just so we have a finished curve. This is the back of our bone. Think about MRIs, that's why I'm doing this weird shape. Uh, if I will duplicate now and move it up and let's center the pivot first. and scale it a little bit down, duplicate this, move up. I am looking at this kind of idea of slices, which is a very nice modeling way also for faces, characters, etc. So here I created those. Now I have this shape, let's say it's a profile. And if I select this curve and this curve, and I will go into loaf, let's just make sure we are on, yeah, we are on polygons. Let's press 5. Maybe way too many divisions on one hand and too little on the other. So I will just change this here. Sixty-four, we see we get a bit more rounded. And here we actually don't need many. Let's just put two. Just to see the shape. Now I could do it like this and select this surface, the next curve and apply the loft and it will just connect straight with it. So I can go 
directly or what I could do is just select this curve this one apply it again I should have changed back the same setting so we will have a, a same aligned layout and that was 64 and 2 I can already set this here in the settings And I will do the same to, from this to this curve, just for the exam. Right. Now we, I have three separate surfaces from poly. I can take them and combine them and then merge them. I mesh tools, combine. And then I would select because I should have here double vertices because there are two overlaid on each other. What I could do is just select this whole row. Let's just be more direct a bit from a side view and just use my poly merge. Edit mesh, sorry, we need to do merge not merge the center and I'm double checking that the threshold is very low so it will give me less things just one thing about the polygons we, which I jumped into here is just to a way for us to see our um, poly count should be wait. let's go to sorry we'll do it here display heads up display and we should also have here our poly count this is just to show me how many polygons I got and since I'm trying to merge. So I'll do the merge and apply. Just notice the amount of vertices that I have in the scene and how many I will have afterwards. About the same. It's already been combined. Sorry, yeah. You can see now I have them. Less. So this is if it was a polygon, now I have it as one object. If I would do the same thing with the nerves, I could also do the whole thing in one go. Select all the curves and I will just automatically lock it so I get the same uh, shape and I can control it this way. Again, let's just... Ah, this is fine problem usually I would get with this is how to close the stop caps um, we can do a planner here but then we will have to connect the next cool. okay that's about it for this very short look on nerves surfaces and curves and we will continue working in the next workshop on polygons